Hi, this is Nedrick. Um, uh, I'm just actually doing a quick breakdown or a slight breakdown of Patrolling Part 2, which is the second in the series uh, created by my brother and myself, my brother being Jermaine Fraser, and myself, Nedrick. Um, yeah, we created this project, you know, just a joint thing to basically bring about our ideas of just doing animation and, you know, certain things as a joint. And, you know, we have, we, we've, we work together briefly, but this is more like our, you know, kid, you know, basically where we're just putting out there and just saying, hey, you know, we have the power to do certain things. But anyway, this is just a quick breakdown of the animation. I'm not going to get too in-depth, but I wanted to just, uh, you know, basically bring the focus on uh, the program called Flash, you know, Micromedia Flash. Um... A lot of people view it as being, you know, as a weak secondary tool or something of a sort. And, you know, I just wanted to brighten the light. A lot of people who use Flash know the power of that program. You know, you can do a lot of different things, animating and, uh, you know, doing game development and so forth. And it's a very powerful application, or I would say powerful tool. You know, it's not normally to be said as to be the singular um, program out there. There's so many different things you can use or combine this with. So basically, as you can see, it's just a quick banner, a bumper for the animation. I'm just going to go quickly through it just to try to isolate and certify a lot of different things. Um, I'm going to turn off the sound if the sound is not off already. Okay, it's off. And uh, basically, as you can see, that's the, the title, Patrolling Part 2. And it, it gives the name of the two creators, my, bro my brother being the narrator and writer, and myself being the animator, sole animator on this project. Um, and I'm just going to go, go through a few little quick nit bits of things. Uh, for example, just how the animation process of what I do. Uh, there, there are several layers, but the primary layers being the mask layer, the primary layer, secondary layer, and the background. Um, if you look closely at certain of the animations, you know, there are a lot of little minimalist things in there. But um, in this animation, per se, um, you would notice that there are little elements, like say for example the character, one of the characters here, uh, this happens to be Tina. Um, I only animated a certain segment of, of her body, being her hand. There are more things that I would have actually done, per se, but I just focused solely on just, you know, just her hand motion, just to try to isolate a different kind of animation. I mean, not, well, not different kind, but just pretty, pretty much the animation. Very solid. And uh, let me just go back out. And uh, yeah, you know, has we have the main uh, one of the, all the main characters here being um, the commander, uh, as Tina, the Sheena. There we go. The different background layers, isolate different things with different lighting effects and so forth that I created just for this. And if you look at uh, these others here, these are just pretty much. This was the original build for the character from part one. And I, of course, updated it to be the part 2 uh, line art that I'm using, which is similar to my other animation, Cosmic Clash. Different things in the background, so just jumping through. Here we go. So this is more of a little bit more um, complex breakdown. Where I'd have different layers of things. As you can see, that R motion. I'll play it down so you can actually see. There we go. Quick breakdown, nothing too crazy. And each layer is within the layer, as you can see, see, I break it down into whatever scene it is, scene one, or scene six. Within scene six, there are different parts. So if you click on him right here, you see scene six captain, that reference to the body. And I'm waiting for my computer to not freeze. This will take a few seconds. Um, in the midst of it, you know, I've used many different programs, you know, to, to interact with it. I've used uh, 3D programs to build the 3D motifs, being the vehicles, as you can see the vehicle over here, being, um, this would be the second uh, ship, second? Third ship. The, the, this is actually in, embedded in the first primary ship of the vessel. Um, here we go, finally, there we go. So I'll break things down, two different frames just for that animation. I'm going to try to move a little bit faster because basically this computer has a tendency to freeze. At the top I have something called my metrodome. Basically for musical timing I actually create that just so I can time the cuts and each time it makes a click I switch over to the next frame. 
Break, uh, breaking. There we go, the ship. Very simplistic vehicles, and I'm just gonna slow down on the animation here. You can see the different map motion, map movements. Just talking, 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 talking. There we go. And then I'm just gonna jump ahead a few frames to something more, a little bit more interesting. Mm, that's interesting. I'll go in. Nah, not even gonna go into depth with that one. And uh, here we go different parts so here we go so this segment is actually in the teaser a seven second teaser I made so I'm just gonna break it down to colors so you can see what the heck is going on there get rid of the background other highlighting effects and we focus on just the animation so each thing was actually most things were really redrawn out. So here we go. I'll go down to the rough outlines that I do. Rough outlines, rough outlines, rough outlines, rough outlines, rough outlines, rough outlines. So I'm pretty much trying to you know, like, make you aware that you know there's so many different things and possibilities with this application called Flash, but a lot of people seem to knock off as being, oh, you cannot do this or you cannot do that. It's pretty much limited to by who you are, you know, by by your potential. If you want to to do anything, you can make it do anything you want. Um, this program is not; it's it's pretty much a tool. That's what it really is. It's just a tool, like any other tool out there. Uh, this was probably one of my other more complex frames. I go breaking it down. Yes, yeah, so I'm making you see all behind the scenes because eh, it doesn't make a difference right now. It's already out. Um, another slightly more complex scene. I have to unlock that frame. And there we go. Let's see so many different things going in there. And there's a, so many more things I wanted to do in the animation, which I didn't do, but save that for the next one next animation i make will hopefully be a lot more superb but uh that's as far as i'm gonna go um i'll probably just go down to the last frame maybe yeah there we go down here just jumping ahead bring it out a little bit more And uh, yeah, pretty much I have all elements, every element that I use within this animation is broken down into different segments, entirely broken down, showing every kind of things. Um, so you know, you, you again, it's just a tool, you know, it's just like many other tools out there, there's, you know, Photoshop, After Effects, Flash. Uh, flame, combustion, any 3D programs, Maya Softimage, Illustrator, I mean Maya Softimage, Rhino, uh, Blender, Houdini, but you know, you utilize the tools to the best of your ability or its ability of what you want to actually capture and do and uh, get it done. Okay, and uh, until next time, farewell.